EOS R, the LPE6N is rated for 370 shots, but it doesn't come anywhere close. It shoots much, much more. Now I carry four spare Canon LPE6N batteries in my camera bag here everywhere I go. So just in case I'm shooting with the EOS R, if I need another battery or four, I always have them with me. Now yesterday I went into the city here in Wellington to shoot some photos for a mate of mine at work and I was shooting with three lenses. I shot with the Canon EF 24-105 f4L, I shot with the Canon EF 70-200 f2.8 L IS USM and I also shot with the Canon EF 85mm f1.8. Now at the end of the shoot I thought to myself, cripes, I didn't even change the battery at all and I figured I'd shot a few hundred photos. I got back home, ran it up on the computer, and found that I'd shot 1,127 shots. Oh, that was quite puzzling to me. I thought, did I change the battery or didn't I change the battery? And it turned out I absolutely didn't. Now I know that on the DSLR, I can get a lot more shots for my battery charge. And I figured, based on the rating for the LPE6N and the Canon EOS R, that I could get way less on the mirrorless camera. But as I say, I checked on the computer, so I shot over a thousand shots and thought that was amazing. I thought, how can that be so much more than what the battery is rated for? Well, I then chucked on the RF 35mm f1.8 IS with image stabilization, and I fired off a few more shots. A few more shots. You're simply not gonna believe this. Now, before I mention the number of the total shots, I'll let you know I'm shooting raw on the camera and I was shooting high speed continuous. Uh, when I was in town I was shooting servo. I had image stabilization on the 24 to 105 and also on the 70 to 200. And we know that image stabilization uses battery power. But here I decided to try and expend the rest of the battery to see how many shots I could take in total off one charge. And I wound up taking 4,000 shots with 8% left on the battery. 4,000 shots on one battery. Now I ended up stopping because I was thinking, oh my gosh, how many shutter actuations am I going to put on this camera? Is it going to die? Am I going to kill it? One day later in the future, I'm going to remember these 3,000 shots that I've used on the shutter. And so I ended up stopping. It still had 8% left on the battery. This is unbelievable. How can the Canon LPE6N be rated for 370 shots in the EOS R, and yet I managed to take 4,000 shots? How can that possibly be? Why would they rate it so low? And I guess there are a lot of different factors that come into play, and they're probably taking the most conservative view about what the battery can deliver to you. But you've got to remember, I was shooting with image stabilization on, and I was shooting raw, so it's a real mystery to me. But I tell you what, it's a really good mystery to me. I've never really thought about it so much before because I usually do a tactical reload. If I see the battery is about half full, I dump it out and pop another one in. Now, of course, if I'm shooting video or something else that's going to generate more power usage on the camera, then I would expect that I'm not going to get such eye-watering battery life out of it. But here we were just shooting stills. Let's recap. I was shooting raw. I was shooting with image stabilization on. I shot with three lenses, the 24-105, the 70-200, and the 85mm. Granted, the 85mm doesn't have image stabilization, but when I got back and decided to see if I could deplete the rest of the battery, I was shooting with the RF 35mm image stabilization on. I stopped at 4,000 because it's a nice round number. That's more than 10 times the rated capacity of the Canon LPE6N. Have you ever had such staggering results when using a single battery that has far exceeded the rated capacity life of the battery? Let me know in the comments below, but otherwise that's it. I'm out of here now. It's just simply to drop in and say that is absolutely amazing. I can't believe the results. Have a great day. Thanks for watching. Look after yourself and we'll catch you on the next one. Bye.